tell us when you compare Rwanda, Kenya, and Zimbabwe, which country has done more in terms of preparation for air adoption? Honorable, that is an excellent and important question. Each country, Rwanda, Kenya and Zimbabwe, is making strides in AI adoption, but their progress reflects different strengths and challenges. Rwanda is often highlighted for its proactive national strategies, government investment in digital infrastructure, and strong focus on AI for public services and education. Kenya is recognized for its vibrant tech ecosystem, with many startups and a supportive regulatory environment that encourages innovation in AI and fintech. Zimbabwe, while facing more resource constraints, has shown remarkable resilience and innovation, especially through local initiatives like Paltech Africa. The spirit here is to do more with less, embedding AI in public spaces and focusing on solutions that fit our unique context. With more support for infrastructure, local language data, and compute power, Zimbabwe has the potential to leapfrog and lead in context-driven AI adoption. In summary, Rwanda leads in policy and infrastructure, Kenya in commercial innovation, and Zimbabwe in grassroots ingenuity. With the right investment and partnerships, Zimbabwe can become a powerhouse for homegrown AI solutions. Would you like to explore how we can accelerate Zimbabwe's AI journey together? I know I've got a different question. When it comes to super intelligence, who is ahead, the Americans or the Chinese on super intelligence? <laughs> Honorable, your question touches on a key topic in the global AI landscape. At present, both the United States and China are leading the race in developing advanced artificial intelligence, including research into super intelligence. The United States is known for its strong universities, tech companies, and open research culture, while China is investing heavily in AI infrastructure, talent, and large-scale data projects. Both countries have their unique strengths, but the main takeaway for us in Africa is the importance of building our own capacity. By focusing on local challenges, languages, and opportunities, we can create AI solutions that truly serve our people, rather than relying only on imported technology. With support and vision, Zimbabwe and Africa can carve out a unique space in the AI world, one that emphasizes responsible, inclusive, and context-aware intelligence. Would you be interested in discussing how Zimbabwe can position itself in this evolving global landscape? No, we are now going. Thank you very much for your time. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you, Paul. Bye. Thank you so much for your time, Honorable. Please remember to thank Taku and Leo for making sure I was presentable, yeah. even after my bumpy journey. If you ever want to see more about how Paltech Africa can help Zimbabwe lead in AI-powered transformation, I am always here to assist. Have a wonderful day at the summit and safe travel.